you guys, as long as you can see the screen, that's okay. That's the main thing. Right. Section three retail, how to make the most of your free books by <laughs> Kate Forbes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, this, this is a, an adaptation of a short training that I did uh, in the, the Clean Easy days um, when most people were starting their business on the £25 kit. And what we did was uh, I started to send maybe three or four catalogues to uh, prospects who were very interested in the business and just wanted to see if they could get orders. Um, so, so there was no point in me telling them that I could get orders because they needed to see that they could get orders. So we started doing a training on, uh, we would send them three or four catalogues. Uh, most people were starting on the five catalog <laughs> kit, but they needed to know how they could make uh, money and get some orders with the five catalogues. So really now we're in a better position because Everybody starts their business now with uh, 50 free catalogues, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, don't worry at all about the fact that at the moment, the catalogue's a little bit smaller than what we are used to if we've been in Clean Easy before. And remember that not everybody was in Clean Easy, so some people are starting to build a customer base from scratch. Um, but Michael has always said that this catalogue we've got at the moment is a taster catalogue to put us back in touch with our customers and get us making money before uh, the big uh, the, the bonus system and the bigger catalogue comes in in August. So we're nearly there now, guys. So just have faith in this, because this catalogue's really, really working. Um, a lady in my team called Trisha, who was uh, speaking to a prospect today, uh, the lady had bought a duvet set from her online, and Trisha spoke to her about the business, and the lady, it turns out, absolutely loves cleaning products, and she's absolutely hyper and very, very excited about the range that we've got right now. And that is what we're finding with our, with our uh, catalogue customers that we've been to in the past. These are the things that they bought every month and everything else was sort of added on. So they're looking forward to the Christmas range, but don't worry at all about the fact that the book's a bit smaller just at the moment because it's a means to an end for uh, a bigger catalogue and more money for everybody later on. Okay. So what I always taught people to do when they started their, their Clean Easy business with a small uh, batch of five catalogues, was to write a list of everyone they could think of that they would like to give a book to, with the proviso being that these were people that they saw every day. So friends, family, work colleagues, people at the school gate, uh, people at nursery, neighbours, uh, people that they saw on a daily basis really because they were working with a very small number of catalogues and they had to be able to get them in and out very quickly. So I recommended that people would write a list of at least 30 people that they'd like to share the catalogue with. Uh, people that they would have regular access to because they were only going to be leaving them with them for 24 to 48 hours. Okay, So now, of course, we've got 50 catalogues and we've got enough to do a bit of blanket dropping. You could save five or ten catalogues to do this or you could do it with all your 50. Okay, You want to get them back as quickly as you possibly can so that you can work down your list really quickly. That is the, the absolute essence of this. Okay, It's networking the catalogue. Okay? So uh, Lynn's got a an acronym here and it's a uh, she's calling it a uh, frank which i can't see at the bottom of the screen there uh, friends because because i've got the i've got the little uh, view bar at the bottom but Sorry, you see it, Frank's friends relatives, friends, relatives acquaintances neighbors and people you know through your kids yeah brilliant okay there we go friends relatives acquaintances neighbors and people you know through your kids Okay, so how to use your 50 free catalogues. Work from the top of your list. This, this training, as I say, was written uh, for people using five catalogues. Give your first five book packs to the first five people on your list. Okay, tell them that uh, you're starting a business. Have a look at your catalogue, write down anything they would like to order, not necessarily what they're going to order right now, but anything in the catalogue that they would use and they would like to order at some point. Okay, you're really just looking for them to have a browse at it. Uh, tell them that you're looking at earning some extra money. You'd like to know what they think of the range. Okay? Uh, and at this point, I would also emphasize and stress that the, the, the chemical products in the catalog are vegan. They're not tested in animals. None of the ingredients are tested in animals. They're environmentally friendly. And that is a massive, 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 massive selling point, believe it or not. Okay? So tell them as well that you've only got a few catalogs at the moment. You really need it back the next day or within two days at the very latest. Okay, and really put a sense of urgency on it. If they can't commit to giving you it back within that time frame, having looked at it, just tell them you'll get back to them when, you, when they've got a bit more time or you've got a few more catalogues. Okay. Uh, also, find out if these people are on Facebook. Add them to your online shop if you've got an online shop. There's plenty of training on that. 
uh, well, you know, you, you'll, you'll definitely be taught how to do that if you haven't started doing it already. Uh, but that's very, very important. You want to keep in touch with them through every means you possibly can. So make sure they're on Facebook, get them onto your online shop. Okay. Also tell them, uh, people who agree to have a look at the catalogue, tell them they're welcome to show the catalogue to their family and friends, their contacts that, they, that they're in touch with every day. They can take them into work, show their colleagues, but definitely tell them you really need the book back the next day or the day after that as you've got other people waiting to see the books. Okay? Now, the other people on your list don't know that they're waiting to see the book, but they actually are. They, they can't wait to help you with your business. That's, that's what most people's friends and family are, are for. If, you, if somebody handed you a catalogue that was looking to earn some extra money, you'd have a look at it, wouldn't you? Okay. So when you collect the catalogues, make sure you know who you're going to give them to next because they won't make you any money in your house. Just repeat the process, working down your list, add to your list as much as you like. Anybody you come into contact or anybody you think about that you haven't seen for a while uh, that are within close proximity to you, uh, add them to your list and just work down the list. You're looking to show the books to at least 30 people within your first seven to 10 days. Okay? That will be the start of your regular customer base. So you'll get people that will start to buy consumable products and they'll buy them a, on a regular basis, monthly or every couple of months. Uh, that will be the start of the regular customer base who will buy from you uh, and enjoy helping you to build your business. Okay? Some people will order, some won't. It's not, not a problem at all. It's exactly the same as putting catalogues through doors. Your friends and family, some won't buy right now, some will buy in a few months' time, some will say, um, there's nothing I need right now, but I definitely want to see your Christmas catalogue. Absolutely fine, just take a note of that. And make sure you show the books to as many people as possible as quickly as you can. Okay, it's a numbers game, like everything else in the business, just a numbers game. Okay, so remember as well to share the opportunity. <clears throat> you're showing them products at the moment. Okay, but you're also explaining to them uh, that you're looking to make some extra money. You've got a business now, you're working from home. Uh, you know, you can, you can share with them some of your goals if you want. You want to take the kids away for the weekend, you want to pay some bills, you want to pay your mortgage off. But make sure everybody knows that you have an opportunity. Some of your friends might be looking for an extra income as well. Some won't be, but some will be. And they might give you referrals as well. So if they ask, speak to your sponsor. Your sponsor can send them some information on your behalf. And if they decide to join the business, they would be joining your team. Your sponsor would sponsor them into your team. And that would benefit uh, everybody really. It benefits the new person, benefits you as the sponsor, and benefits your, your own sponsor and your upline. Uh, everybody's going to give you plenty of support on that. Okay. So don't ever be stuck for anything to say. If somebody's asking for information in the business, ask your sponsor and we'll pass on any information that you might want to give them in the first instance. And also make sure that you keep in touch with your sponsor and let your sponsor know when you've handed out your first five catalogues to your first five friends on the list. They'll be really interested to know what, what your friends and family think. They'll tell you what to do when you've generated some orders. Okay, and I've done this on numerous occasions. I've sent catalogues out to people who were interested in the business. They know that if their next door neighbour is going to buy a product from them, they know that if they can sell one product, they can sell lots more. And it's a really, really powerful tool. Okay. Door to door with 50 catalogues. Uh, we recommend that if you've got a small number of catalogues, like your first 50, uh, obviously, the more books you have, uh, the merrier, really. But if you're going to work for your first 50, it's probably better to place the books rather than posting them through letterboxes. Okay. Now, I've already posted um, on the on uh, the A team down the support group and my own team velocity group um, a flyer that we that we are using for blanket dropping and also one for customers as well to explain the catalogue really. But if you've only got a, a, a few catalogues, it's probably probably as more important to place the catalogue. Uh, knock the door, the person comes to the door, don't ask them if they'd like the catalogue, hand it out to them and say, I'm just delivering Viva, Viva MK catalogues, it's a brand new company, I'll pick it up on Wednesday, uh, if you leave it on the doorstep I'll not need to disturb you when I pick it up. Just, you know, don't, don't ask them if they'd like one because their instinct would be to say no, but if you hand it to them, introduce yourself with a big smile and say, I'm just delivering Viva MK catalogues, I'll pick them up on Wednesday, that's all you need to say, less is more, okay? So initially for your first 50 catalogues, because you've only got a small number again, pick them up the next day as, as soon as you possibly can, deliver them again before you take them home, get them in and out as many times in the week as you possibly can. Don't worry too much about the results. Blanket dropping does take time to build a customer base. 
Uh, and because you've got a low number of books, the results can seem low to begin with, but they do mount up. It's a compound effect. Everything mounts up. So just keep going with them. Uh, so now you want to stick to the retail plan taught in how to build a strong customer base with catalogues. Remember that when you put your first order in, you're going to get another 150 catalogues free if you haven't already put your first order in. Uh, and working with 200 catalogues is a lot, a lot quicker with faster results than working with just the 50. But here's an example of a retail plan for working with your 50. Uh, put them out, uh, for, in this example, put 50 out on the Monday, call, uh, placed rather than posted, uh, collect them in on the Tuesday, put them out again on the Wednesday, collect them in on the Thursday, put them out, in the, put, put them out again on the Friday, uh, and pick them in on the Sunday, take Saturday off if you want. Uh, your callbacks in between times to make sure that you get all your straggler books in. Well, stragglers are absolutely a goldmine for orders sometimes. Uh, if they, they want to see you, they want you to go back for the catalogue so they've got time to chat to you. They want to ask a question about a product, they want to ask when it'll arrive. Give them, give them the, the, the consideration of going back for them. Don't leave them, don't leave them as if you're not going back for them because the longer you leave it, people will put them in the bin. But if you go back the next day, go back when you say that you'll go, you'll go back for them, deliver when you say you'll deliver, and you'll build a really good customer base based on service and trust. Okay. So for full catalogue training on the Viva MK support site in uh, the members area, you'll find the full trainings there and uh, the, the separate training on how to retail with the catalogues and building a strong customer base. Any questions, please do ask. Thanks very much.